Joining us on this broadcast uh, is Mr. Harshavardhan Niyotia, Chairman of the Ambuja Niyotia Group. Uh, thank you, Mr. Niyotia, for speaking to Republic TV. First of all, tell us a little bit about uh, why you decided at your group to expand the facility. Uh, what were the challenges that you were facing in Kolkata that, uh, that, that forced you to open this new facility, Mr. Niyotia? Well, I think it was in the first week of May when uh, we were seeing these cases surge all over the country and uh, the epidemiologists were saying that, you know, we are in for a very severe second wave. Uh, that's when we thought that we need to do something to provide and to augment the health infrastructure uh, for COVID care. Now, we are in healthcare, but uh, we have a COVID hospital in Siliguri, but we didn't have one in Calcutta, though we have two hospitals here, but they're dedicated women and child hospitals, and hence was not able to uh, have the infrastructure for COVID care. So we thought we must do something here. And then uh, we got in touch with HOSMAC, uh, our consultants, and they ad advised that we could set up a field hospital, which is in a kind of an air-conditioned tented structure. And uh, we had a land right next to our hospital in Newtown, Rajarhat. Uh, so we immediately ordered it. And I was, um, I'm really happy to say that we were able to set it up in less than two weeks. Um, the tent and uh, all the infrastructure. I'm happy that ICIC I Lombard came forward and they have contributed for the equipments that are housed in this uh, facility. And uh, it started yesterday. So um, I hope that with this, we will be able to provide some succor to the people. Yeah. Just looking at some of the details of uh, this facility, this is the Vinod Neotia COVID care center that include 48 oxygenated medical beds, uh, 10 high dependency units, 24 seven assistance, uh, nursing assistance and lab support, uh, specialist consultants, uh, three doctors to remain available round the clock. Now, uh, you said all of this was uh, set up in two weeks. Now, across India, when we are facing a medical infrastructure crunch, I think it's uh, it's also uh, an opportunity, isn't it, for us to uh, perhaps seize the moment and uh, with with you know because COVID is not going to go away. Uh, do you see this as perhaps a model that uh, that other cities could also follow? It has actually been done quite extensively in Mumbai and. Delhi. So maybe it's the first such initiative here in Kolkata, but it's been very successfully carried out in other cities of India. And we were just merely, uh, of course, improvising it to our local requirements, but uh, taking the model from there and putting it up here. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mr. Neotia, what are the different challenges that you see in the medical infrastructure today? Because, uh, uh, you know, the second wave has really tested uh, the limits of our uh, medical system, isn't it, in India? As we speak, um, I'm happy to note that uh, there has been a significant decline in the peak uh, infectivity situation. And uh, I think, uh, God willing, we will not see a further spike. And... Uh, you know, the glide curve will continue to move down. That's what uh, even the epidemiologists are speaking, and that's what I get from speaking to doctors, etc. So maybe the worst is behind us as far as the second wave is concerned. Uh, we need to ramp up vaccination, which everyone knows, and I think uh, all efforts are being made in that direction so that we can at least uh, mitigate the big uh, challenge coming out of the third wave, if, it, if at all we are likely to be uh, affected by that. Now, most uh, people feel that there is a third wave in the offing, and hopefully if we can be sufficiently vaccinated, it may not be very severe. So this is what it is. I have, for the time being, I think, um, uh, I don't think anymore we have a challenge with oxygen infrastructure, etc., which we saw perhaps in end of April, early May. Uh, that problem is probably behind us in most parts of India. Yeah. And what is the kind of feedback that you are getting uh, in, in Kolkata and in West Bengal for, uh, for, for over, over this new COVID care facility? Well, there's been a very positive response. We just opened our doors yesterday. We uh, So obviously it will take a few days for us to really have the patients coming in. But uh, I think uh, 
at the cost at which we are providing the facilities and the the comprehensive nature of it more importantly it's also the personnel now uh, that we have been able to put uh, bring together uh, we run a nursing academy we were able to bring the nurses from there we have been able to recruit some doctors so i think all in all i hope that we can give satisfactory care to mild and medium level covid patients very serious i don't think the center can take care of that so they will have to go to more specialized hospitals for that do you think there is a need for more such facilities uh, especially in the rural areas you think it can be done well the you know setting up an infrastructure is probably easier than getting the people to manage it i think uh, when we took the decision in early may and we were able to figure out how we we're going to set up the infrastructure the real challenge was that we have now nearly 80 90 people working there dedicated for this because you have to have nurses in three shifts and doctors in three shifts because in a hospital you can't have people in one shift so uh, to get the qualified and trained people in that quantity that quickly is always a challenge and in remote locations to find them is even wor uh, worse because where do they stay and will they be willing to go that far from their homes etc at least in big cities we are still able to find some of these people so uh, that's really where the challenge is in taking such infrastructure to deep rural areas okay uh, one last question mr neotia because uh, you know you, when you when you speak of uh, temporary facilities that can be set up easily uh, across india we've seen governments do that the forces do that the drdo take initiative some uh, private players including yourself you know you're taking the initiative but do you think uh, do you think uh, this is the need of the hour do you think we should we should have more such facilities also to be prepared for a possible third wave well i i think a lot has happened frankly speaking uh, in kolkata i have read a lot of private initiative be it vaccination centers be it uh, you know arranging oxygen or uh, you know helplines and infrastructure that has been created by the private hospitals in collaboration with private corporate bodies so <coughs> i think a lot of it has happened and <coughs> at this moment i think uh, probably uh, it's uh, it's enough looking at the curve of the pandemic so may not be much required but yes if a third wave were to come in a manner which is much more ferocious than the second then perhaps we will be short but uh, that's really a thing that i won't be competent to decide and advise whether such a possibility is there Yeah. But uh, thank you for speaking to Republic TV and all the best Mr. Harshvardhan Neotia. Thank you. Thank you.